really. Um, it's a proof of a little fact about Fibonacci numbers and I'm just going to go ahead and prove it. Um, it might take quite a while so this might be a very long video. You can tell, I can't because it haven't, I haven't finished it yet but you can see how long the video is. Isn't the future amazing? So, um, the fact is um, if you draw out a grid, um, I'll draw one with five columns and however many rows doesn't matter. And if I fill the grid with the Fibonacci numbers, so one, one, two, three, five, eight, thirteen, twenty-one. I'm not sure how much of this I need. Uh, Eighty-nine, hundred and forty-four. 233, 377, 610, that'll be enough. Right. So, uh, if you take any 2x2 two two square from inside this grid and work out its determinant like it's a 2x2 two two matrix, uh, watch what happens. So, uh, if I, I don't know how am I going to do this? A uh, bit of chalk, maybe? What can stay on screen? quite a bit. Uh, so if I take uh, 2, 3, 21, 34. 2, 3, 21, 34. The determinant of that is 2 times 34 minus 3 times 21, which is uh, 68 minus 63 which is 5. Okay, let's take a different one, uh, something that I can do in my head. Uh, this one, 8144, uh, 1389. So that last one was 5. And now what I'm doing, 8, 13, 89, 144. Um, if I multiply these out, I'm do this longhand, just so I don't make a mistake. Uh, 2, 3, 5, 3, 11. Uh, oh, that's it, 11, 5, 2. That's 8 times 1, 4, 4. Now I want 89 by 13, which is 2, 6, that was that, a 7. And 9. Eight. Right, seven, five, one, one, five, seven. So one, one, five, two minus one, one, five, seven. Um, so eight dot one four four minus eighty nine thirteen is minus five. So I had five before, then I had minus five, um, and so the first cool fact here is you take any two by two. Um, square in this grid and work out its determinant, it'll be either plus or minus 5. It's, it's quite fun. Um, 5 is the top right number here, um, the, the rightmost one on the first row, so that might have something to do with it. So if I draw out another grid, we'll try that. Um, I'll do this one in chalk. Really small one. One, one, two, three, five, eight, thirteen, twenty-one, thirty-four. Um, let's take this one. Three, five, thirteen, twenty-one. So three times twenty-one minus five times thirteen is sixty-three minus uh, sixty-five, which is minus two. Cool. Uh, I haven't checked the trivial one yet. 5 minus 3 is 2. So in this one, uh, the determinants are always plus or minus 2. It's pretty cool. So, what's happening? Um, if you haven't seen this puzzle before and I haven't bored you with it, you might want to have a sit down and think about uh, why that might be. Uh, so, please pause the video and resume. I'm going back to explain it. So, um, 
each of the rows has got n entries in it. Uh, am I still on the screen? Yeah. Uh, so I have f, I don't know, how do I want to number these? Naught, f1. Do I want to do that? No, I want to do f1. So f1 is 1. Uh, and f2 is also 1. Uh, all the way up to fn here. Uh, and then the row beneath has f n plus 1, f n plus 2, and so on, up to f 2 n. So when you take any little box, if you call the top left one f i, some Fibonacci number somewhere, uh, then the other bits are f i plus 1, f uh, i plus n, and f i plus n plus 1. Okay? So, uh, the determinant of that uh, is, let's write that up here, f i plus n plus 1 times f i minus f i plus n f i plus 1. Okay? Um, what was my hypothesis here? I haven't said it yet, have I? Um, if you look at the very first one, like that, we've got 1, 1, f n plus 1, f n plus 2. Um, then the determinant of that is f n plus 2 minus f n plus 1, which is always f n. Because of the recurrence relation for Fibonacci, which I will write down on the post it note. Um, f n plus 2 is f n plus f1. That's uh, the rule for making Fibonacci numbers up. So if you rearrange that, oh sorry, f n plus 1. <laughs> right, yeah, so if you rearrange that, uh, f n is f n plus 2 minus f n plus 1. So that's where that fact comes from. So um, my hypothesis is, let's write that down on a bit of paper. Uh, the determinant in um, n by n grid is always plus or minus fn. Okay? Because fn, that's the top right one there, so it's always plus or minus that. Okay, so where did we get to? We had a generalized grid. And we worked out the determinant of it, fi plus n plus 1 times fi, minus fi plus n times fi plus 1. Um, so, I'm going to try and do a proof by induction to uh, shift this uh, square back to the start. Um, so, if I start with uh, 1 here, I want to show it's something in terms of the one that's one space to the left, and by induction I can keep doing that until I get back to the start, and I know that that's fn. Okay, so um, let's use my Fibonacci fact, the recurrence relation. So I want to rewrite these ones with plus 1 in terms of the two previous numbers. So fi plus n plus 1 is fi plus n minus 1 plus fi plus n. That's all times by fi, and subtract uh, fi plus n times uh, fi plus 1, which is fi minus 1 plus fi. Okay? So I've got fi plus n fi minus fi plus n fi, so those cancel there. And I'm left with uh, 
fi plus n minus 1 fi minus fi plus oh yeah fi plus n fi minus 1 which is the uh, negative or the negation of the determinant of the previous row because if I had uh, how much space have I got to deal with here? Plenty. I can draw down that. That's my fi. Um, I was working on this right hand bit. The one to the left of it is fi minus 1. Uh, so the one to the left of it is there, and here, this is minus the determinant of that one on the left. Uh, so, um, if I keep moving my square leftwards one space, it, it gets minused constantly, so it will eventually get back to Fn, so that means that all of them are plus or minus Fn, and if you can be bothered with notation or 2 ends or whatever, you can say which ones are plus and which ones are negative. Uh, the even ones are plus and the, the ones next to them are uh, negative. Okay, so that's the cool fact. You might be satisfied with that, but you can do a bit more if you make the boxes a bit bigger, but you still take the determinant of, well, say the corners now. So if I take this uh, three wide too long box I want to take the determinant of the corners there so what's that uh, so what did I have I had one three thirteen thirty four the determinant of that, uh, so I want straight lines there, really, is 34 times 1 minus uh, 13 times 3, which is uh, 34 minus 39, so minus 5. Okay, uh, that's fine. That looks the same as the 21 minus 26, that's also minus 5, so is that the rule? Is it going to be the same the whole way? Of course not. If I take the next one along, uh, so 55, 5, let's see, what do I get? 55 times 1 minus 5 times 13 is... Um, 55 minus 65 is minus 10, which is 2 times minus 5. Uh, beginning to spot a pattern? Maybe. Uh, so perhaps I'd run out of space there because I, I got as far as the right hand edge. But um, it looks like what's happening is that the Fibonacci numbers just extend on. So really this is two parallel rows of lines. So the next row after five really is, so the next column is the one with eight and 89 in it. So let's take that. So I had 113 there and now eight and 89, that's the next pair of numbers along. Squares there. Right, uh, 89 minus 8 times 13 is 89 minus uh, 104, which is minus 15, which is 3 times minus 5. Um, so these determinants, they were all multiples of minus 5, but the multiples they were, as I made the box bigger, was 1, 1, 2, Three. It's the Fibonacci sequence again. So I've got another hypothesis now. Uh, oh, let's get another bit of paper. Uh, 
Oh, that's a big pen. As a determinant of, um, oh, what do you do? Rows and columns. So two by M box uh, is F. What do I want to do? M minus one, I think, because when it was two wide, it was one. When it was three wide, it was one again. Yeah, so F minus one times Fn. This is uh, in an n by n grid. Okay. Uh, so, uh, how do I prove that? Right, well, out in general, again. This is just, if you ever need an example of proof by induction, if, or why would you need one of those? If you fancy doing some proof by induction, this has got proof by induction galore. So, um, if I draw out a general box, that's some number wide. So I've got Fi at the top left again. And um, Fi plus J, so it's J wide. That's J plus one wide, sorry. Uh, that's Fi plus N again, and that's Fi. J plus N. Okay, so the determinant of that is then that times that minus that times that. Fi plus J plus N. Fi uh, minus Fi plus N. Fi plus J. And you can do exactly the same trick. Um, I think. So let's get this one, uh, that one in terms of smaller j's. Uh, so that's fi plus j plus, oh, yeah, plus n minus 2 plus fi plus j plus n minus 1 times fi minus. J minus two plus F I plus J minus one. Okay. Uh, what am I looking at here? So I've got two bits. I should write that in ink because uh, this is going to take a while. So the determinant of the thing was. So I've just written that out uh, a little bit neater there. So I look. I think I can extract the numbers for the um, the two previous. Or like, so if, you, if you're increasing width one at a time. So I, I think I've got the, the two previous ones here because I've got uh, j minus two and j minus one. I think I can extract those out. So let's get those terms out. So f i plus j plus n minus 2 f i minus f i plus n f i plus j minus 2. Good. So that's the one that's two narrower plus f i plus j plus n minus 1 minus f oh f i minus f i plus n f i plus j minus 1. So that's the one that's one narrow. So uh, if I can prove something about the first two of these, so the one that's, let's say, none wide or one wide and two wide, uh, then I can, uh, let's see, then I, oh, then I can use induction to prove this the whole lot. So the base case. Uh, when j is naught, that means uh, your your right hand 
edge is the same one, so it's, a, it's like a one column wide thing. So that times that minus that times that is zero. That's fine. And j is one, we've already shown that it's plus or minus fn, because that was the uh, two wide. Okay, so, um, so what am I saying here? I need to make up a name for uh, some kind of function that gives you the determinant of a j wide box. So let's call that d uh, w subscript n for the size of the grid. So I've got d n w, and uh, so I've got d n of naught is naught, d n of one is plus or minus f n, and d n of j plus 2 is dn of j plus dn of j plus 1. Yep, so because uh, that's it. we've proved that if you've got one that's some number y, then it's the sum of the previous two. Uh, that recurrence relation looks inordinately familiar. Um, if I'd called that function f, this would just be f of j plus fj plus 2 is fj plus fj plus 1. So I don't know, have we got it? Uh, so dn of j is fj fn, or plus or minus. And was that my hypothesis? Yeah, excellent. So now I know how to make the box a bit wider, let's make it a bit longer. So, what am I doing? Let's start with a one that's too wide and M, um, oh dear. So, Fi here, Fi plus one, and so I'll, ha I'll have this be M rows long. Uh, so that's F I plus. Oh, should I call that M plus one? Because then that'll be M. Is that right? If M is zero, <laughs> then the bottom one will just be F I. Yeah, okay. And then that's F I plus M plus one. Oh, sorry, M N. Fi plus Mn plus 1. So this one's a bit trickier because the determinant is going to be Fi plus Mn plus 1 Fi minus Fi plus Mn Fn plus, oh, sorry, no, that's an I. Fi plus 1. Okay. Um, I feel like I want to prove a fact about Fi plus Mn. Where is it? Fi plus Mn there. I think that might do. Uh, so I'll keep that there for a moment, or even I'll write it on some paper. I've got, I want to do the determinant of Fi plus Mn plus 1 Fi minus Fi plus Mn i plus 1. Okay, we'll come back to that. That's what I want to talk about. Um, so, let's look at if I've got f i, uh, what is f i plus m n? No, no, no. What's, what's f m i in terms of f i? Okay, so let's say that Fi is A plus B. So those are the two previous ones. So the, the Fibonacci sequence goes A, B, A plus B, and this one is Fi. Okay, so then Fi plus 1 is, uh, what is it, Fi minus 1, so the one before, B, 
-hmm. plus fi a plus b so that's a plus 2b okay fi plus 2 is uh, a plus b plus a plus 2b my chalk is failing uh, so I've got two A's and three B's. Starting to get a pattern going here. F I plus three is two previous ones. A plus two B plus two A plus three B. Uh, what I've got three A's, five B's. Okay. One, two, three, two, three, five got the Fibonacci sequence appearing yet again, very tediously. Um, so let's do yet another proof by induction to prove that that's the case. Um, so uh, F i plus j, oh, let's see, let F, F i equal a plus then uh, f i plus j is f j uh, a plus f j plus one b. Is that right? So if j is zero, then this is f i. So it's f zero a plus f one b. Did I say that f zero was one before? I feel like I did. Yeah. Okay, if I if you're watching this and I previously had F zero zero before, I was wrong then. You can decide. Right. It's all plus or minus ones anyway. Uh, so so F I plus J uh, let's do a base case. <laughs> did that didn't I? F i plus naught is f naught a plus f one b is a plus b. Fine, didn't even write that properly. That's how little it matters. So let's look at f i plus j plus one. That is f i plus j minus one plus f i plus j. Okay. Um, I could even make that a two, couldn't I? Assume I did the base case for the first two things. <laughs> so f i plus j plus two is f i plus j plus f i plus j plus one. If my thing holds for previous numbers, which I'm assuming it does for purposes of proof by induction, uh, then this is f j a plus f j plus one b first bit plus f j plus one a oops plus f j plus two b which is for f j plus f j plus one a sorry the a terms are f j and f j plus one added together which is f j plus two so I've got f j plus two a's and I've got f j plus one plus f j plus two b's which is F J plus three B, um, and that's exactly what I wanted to happen. I've got to put J plus two in here. That's what I wanted. So that's cool. Let's write that fact down. Um, F I plus J is F J A plus F J plus one B, where F I is A plus B. To refer back to that, I've, I've written poorly. Okay, so that's true. Let's stick that just in the corner here. And now I want to prove something about f uh, multiples of f, f time. Oh dear. If I've got fi, I want something about f of multiples of i. That's what I'm trying to say. So f2i, what's that? That is f of f i plus i, which 
it is by fact here. Is it on screen? Yes. Uh, uh, what is that? Fi plus i. So j is i here. So it's fi a plus fi plus 1 b. Okay. Um, what can I do there? If I write fi plus 1 in terms of the previous two numbers. So I've got fi a still. Plus fi minus 1. Whoops. fi plus one, minus 1. Plus fi b. That means I've got fi a plus fi b plus fi minus 1 b. So fi times a plus b plus fi minus 1 b. Okay, uh, but uh, now a plus b was fi. So I've got fi fi plus fi minus 1. B is f i minus 1, so f i minus 1, f i minus 1. So that's okay. That looks like f i squared plus f i minus 1 squared. It's been a while since I last worked this through this far, so uh, let's uh, see what I can do about writing that down somewhere. Uh, f 2i is fi squared plus fi minus 1 squared. Um, can I factorise that? No, it's not a minus, so I don't do a plus or minus thing. Right. Let's just go for f of <laughs> mi. So that is. I haven't spotted a pattern yet, I don't think. Should I do F3i? Uh, so that's F2i plus i, which is by fact over here. Uh, F2i a plus F2i plus 1 b. Um, I feel like I'm going about this the wrong way. You are watching thought in action. Uh, oh, I thought I had this worked out. If I do the same trick as before, 2i a plus do? I look like I've got a pattern here. m was 3, so I've got f m minus 1i times f i plus f minus 1i minus 1 f i minus 1. That isn't particularly satisfying. Mm. Uh, maybe it'll do. Should have written this all out before starting. Right. Uh, so let's now go to f m plus one i. So that's f m i f of m i plus i, which is. I feel like I should have written out my first fact in a better form, then maybe things would go a bit better. Um, FI plus J is FJI plus FJ plus 1 B, which is FJ A plus. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. So 
that is fj f uh, i plus f j minus one f i minus one. No, that doesn't help. Right, so I'm, I'm, I keep doing the same trick here. Uh, so I think without doing the working out, that's F M I F I plus F M I minus one F I minus one. That might do as a rule. Maybe. better result for this before. Let's call this off for a moment while I do some working. Oh, of course. Yeah. Uh, seven, five, four, minus six, nine, nine is fifty-five. Yeah. So the way to solve problems is to use actual numbers. Uh, I took this three by something, three by two, one here, and that's uh, 55. The next one along is minus 55, and the one after that is plus 55 again. So it's the same kind of rule. Uh, maybe if I write that down, it will be obvious why that is the case. So uh, where did I write down what I was working on? Got a box. Yay high. Fi, Fi plus one. Fi, uh, Fi plus mn. Fi plus mn plus one. Um, so the determinant is Fi plus mn plus one. Fi minus. Fi plus mn. I plus one. Okay. So um, and my what am I saying? I'm saying that the determinant of all that that is equal to f of well when it was three high it was f of two n and when it's four high I bet it's uh, f of three n so F um, what is that? M is two there. Yep, so F of M N plus or minus F M N. Okay. Is that true? Did I do some work before that showed that? 
maybe. Well, I've got fi plus mn plus 1 there, and fi plus mn. Yeah, oh, so this one's really easy, in fact. Uh, so that is really f mn plus i plus 1, fi minus f mn plus i, f i plus 1. So, yeah, uh, that is mm, f m n plus i minus 1 plus f m n plus i and f i minus f m n plus i f i minus 1 plus f i like the very first thing we proved there are a couple of things that cancel out here uh, this one and that one so we get fmn plus i minus 1 fi minus fmn plus i fi minus 1. So it's... Am I on the screen? Yeah. It's the determinant of the one that's two along. It's minus the determinant of the one that's just to the left. So it is going plus or minus, plus or minus, plus or minus. I uh, just need to prove my base case, which is where I need that fact from. If I take uh, f naught f one. I did use F1 to start with, didn't I, before? Oh, well. F M N F M N plus 1. Then F M N plus 1 or times F0, which is 1, got 1, minus F M N F1, which is also 1. Uh, that is F M N minus 1. Uh, oh, so I was off by one. <laughs> Start number. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So uh, I'm being very loose with where the Fibonacci numbers start here and how my indexing works, but it's all plus or minus ones. I just want to get the neatest result. So yeah, that one's F M N which is fine. So it looks like if you have a box which starts uh, somewhere, let's get a colour, um, say here, and it's yay wide and some amount long, then it goes, it starts plus, minus, plus. This one's going to be a plus. Um, it's going to be some multiple of f three uh, n, so f fifteen. It's going to be some multiple of six hundred and ten, and it's three wide, so it's going to be that multiple of f fifteen. So my prediction is this one is uh, one dot f. What did I use? Did I write down my fact before? Yeah, F minus one then. Yeah, cool. So uh, it's going to be F two times F fifteen. So just six hundred and ten. So if I work out all of these Fibonacci numbers, uh, I'll be able to do that. Uh, so three. <laughs> I'll stop talking while I, my brain cogitates. Uh, man, if I make an error somewhere along the way here. Um, yeah, it's fine so far. 1 six, 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 seven, six, six, seven, six, five. Oh man, I've got five more today. Ten, eight, ten, nine, four, six, six, seventeen, six, seventeen, seven. Uh, 
almost there. Seven six nine uh, seven seven naught one seven seven naught two five. Ah, so we got there in the end. Uh, so what I need to work out is this awful sum. I've got twenty one top left, uh, I've got fifty five top right, and Two, eight, six, five, seven. Oh dear, what's happened to my chalk? Two, eight, six, five, seven there. And seven, seven, oh, two, five there. Now, assuming I've done all my sums correctly, um, that should work out at 610. Looks reasonable. Um, so, seven, seven, oh, two, five times 21 is 4, 5, 1, all right, so 5, 2, 5, 7, 6, 1, right, 1, 6, 1, 7, 5, 2, 5. Seven times five is thirty five. Five divided by twenty-eight and thirty-two. Three fourteen. And that's the same thing again. Okay. Five, three, one, six, seven. Oh crumbs, I'm off by ages. Yeah, I'm off by miles. <laughs> uh, what did I do wrong? Like this, anyway. So, one, six, one, seven, five, two, five, minus one, five, seven, six, one, three, five, zero. What's that divided by 610? Seven doesn't go. I did my sums wrong somewhere. God help us if it was somewhere in the Fibonacci sequence. Let's go and get the real thing.
Yeah, I got it wrong. Okay. Uh, the numbers that I'm looking for. 28657 is fine. 46368 is fine. I got only the last one wrong. Good God. That's six. Eight plus eight is sixteen. Oh, that's a six there. I got that one wrong. Anyway, that number's a five. That's aggravating. Let's try that again. I've got chalk all over my phone as well. Ugh, terrible day. 75025 times 21 is. Um, I get to the other one, I shouldn't have rubbed it out. <laughs> oh well. Uh, two, eight, six, five, seven times fifty five. Yeah, that's going to be close. Um, seven, five, one. So one, five, seven, five, five, two, five. I might be wrong about whether it's a plus or a minus. Ah, uh, it's not measured from there. Plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus. It's going to be a minus. One, five, seven, six, one, three, five. It is zero. Big number on the bottom is what I've done. Yeah, that should work. One, six. That's a five there, so that's a zero, 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 zero. Six hundred and ten. But a minus could do it the other way around. Excellent. So that is the fact. Fibonacci numbers. Let's write that out in big nut letters. Um, in um, n wide grid, because you can make the grid as long as you like. Um, the determinant. Corners of a um, uh, number of rows m by oh no p by q I've already used m the number by p by q rectangle whose left corner is f i is Plus or minus one, so if i is zero. Oh, did I start at one? Yeah. So it's minus one to the i plus one, which is why you start numbering it zero. This this entire thing, if anything, encapsulates why picking between zero and one to start lists is just fraught with problems. Uh, so multiplied by f we've got P uh, so P minus 1 
minus 1 m times where does q come into it? why is q? ah, oh, so times f q if it's too wide it's f Q1. If it's too wide, it's f1. If it's too wide, it's f2. So q minus 1. Okay. So minus 1 to the i plus 1, f p minus 1 n times f q minus 1. And that's the fact. After a million proofs by induction and more mental arithmetic, then it's healthy. And also after almost exactly an hour. Incredible. So. If I ever upload this, um, thanks for watching, if you got this far. Crikey.